testimony time. Please listen and be blessed. Number one, supernatural intervention. I applied for a program which closed on the 5th of June 2018. Some days later, I received an email from the institution that my application was not received. That I have to wait till next year when a new call will be made. Then, I said to myself, no way, no more delay. I have suffered a lot of setback in my career. This time around, I won't give in to the devil. I started declaring the number two of the 2018 winner's prophetic declaration, saying, impossible doors shall be opened to me this year. I also read from Papa's book, The Turnaround Power of the World. He said in that book, you are a divine product. You can only command the supernatural by the word. This steered my faith. He also said the author of a book explained, when fear knocks on the door, send faith to open the door and you will discover there is no one there. This terminated my fear and doubt immediately. I replied to the institution on the 12th of June, 2018, saying there must be a way for my application to be submitted. Lo and behold, the next morning, 13th of June, 2018, when I returned from morning raid, I received an email from the institution that the ministry had made a decree that additional time had been given for submission. That is, between 13th and 15th June 2018, I want to bless God for confirming his word in my life. To him alone be all the glory. The testifier is Esther Okiwa. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Number two, strange growth disappeared via kingdom advancement prayers. I decided to engage fully in Operation 615 when I observed the way our father, Bishop Oedipo, has been setting targets for his engagement on the harvest field. I then followed suit. I determined to reach out to 50 souls minimum per week and to have minimum 12 souls minimum in church per week. God granted me wisdom. I preached to everyone everywhere I found myself and invite them to church. Just last Sunday, four of my converts attended foundation class and were baptized. Many of them have been getting testimonies. I have called, I was called last week that my dad mysteriously woke up with a painful growth at his lower abdomen and close to his private part. By Wednesday, the medical practitioner stated that he must be operated on by Saturday if we want him to leave. But I said that I was marketing enough is enough service to others, telling the people that whatever they say enough is enough is to must answer. So I convinced myself that if I say enough is enough to this growth, they must hear. Meanwhile, we have been informed that if we want him alive, we must take him for operation, which is costing 450,000 naira. Then I said to God, I have attended to what you love most, which is so winning. It is time to attend to my need. Immediately, I remembered the student that raised the brother from the dead by praying kingdom advancement prayer. I did the same. Just the same day, he was scheduled to go for operation. My dad woke up and told us that he was taken to a theater in the dream where doctors came to him and introduced themselves as experts from heaven. They operated on him and when he woke up, the growth had disappeared. And no more pain since then. I have come to return all the glory to God. The testifier is Christian Uzoma. Rise up this morning. Put your hands together for the Lord.